What is up and welcome back to my channel find fix flip now if you haven't done so already hit the like hit the subscribe button and I got tons of content coming for you every single week what we are doing is an LS1 rebuild first one uh, it's my boys uh, 2004 Corvette and we're gonna be doing a rebuild on it so let me show you let's just get right into it I'm gonna show you all the stuff all the steps you got to take your torque specs and I'll put a list of parts in the description. Enjoy. Let me know if you guys like the videos. There's going to be a few of them. It's a long process. Take a 10 millimeter and disconnect the negative on the battery. Take an eight and disconnect both of these hose clamps. Next we're going to just depress this piece right here and pop and take it off. Okay, now we're going to just pull this piece off like this. Just pull the piece right off the mass airflow sensor. Release the tabs on the filter. We're just gonna pull this whole piece out. All right, now I'm gonna take a T. Uh, it's a T30, and there's two. There's two uh, grommet screws down here. I already got one loose, and there's one over in there in the corner, and this will pull this piece out. Okay, the next that we have is to take off the hood. It's two um, 14 millimeter nuts on each side. Right here, there's one, and there's one right here. And then there's a little clip, and I'll show you. You basically, all you have to do is lift up this clip and pop this off. I don't want to do it right now because I can't do this one hand and I'll be back when this is done. I forgot there's one more connector right here and it's a uh, wow that thing's rusted to hell. Um, that's gonna keep the hood from coming off. Now that we got the hood off let's move on to the next piece. Pay careful attention to the orientation of the hoses. Yeah this one's running over here and this is run down here, don't switch them up. Now go ahead and take off our radiator hoses. Get this bad boy's drained all the way. Pull it off. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. There's the top one. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just, we used a uh, 16 millimeter to loosen our quick disconnect for the oil cooler, our oil cooler lines. And they just come out super easy now. Boom. Right out of the way. Super easy, quick disconnect. We got one more at the bottom. And now we're just going to go up and we're going to loosen. Try to loosen. Shit. Ugh. Ugh. Loosen our oil cooler right. Ugh, shit. As you can see, you gotta do some finagling to get these tabs 
out and you gotta undo the electrical harness on both sides to pop this fan out. Um, eight millimeter right here on the bottom uh, or the the bottom radiator hose. And we're just going to, we already loosened it. We're just gonna pop this off. And then our aftermarket radio is ready to come out. All right, now we have, we have room to work. The hood's off. Now we start focusing on taking our coil packs and spark plugs out. So we're gonna take our oil and then we just pop them covers off and voila there is our coil packs and there's our next job we gotta do give me one second all right the next that we have is all these 10 millimeter nuts and bolts we got one two three four regular bolts one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, maybe, or something like that. Uh, pull those off next. All right, now that we got all of our uh, bolts out, the coils are just hanging in here, and then we're going to just lift up on these tabs, and we're going to carefully wiggle these wires off and pull the coils. All right, after you pull all those bolts piece comes right up and that's what you should be looking at right there time for the other side all right guys so what I found um, I need to take off the alternator and everything to get to some of those bolts so I put a 15 millimeter and we're just going to put this on a half inch drive and we're gonna push just like this loosen up the tension and pull the belt off so that's the next step all right, we have a um, 13 millimeter nut to take off the power cable. Go into the alternator. And what we wanna do is disconnect this cable and put this nut back on here. That way we don't lose it. Like this, take this off. Boom, disconnect all that. And just throw that nut back on there for good measure. Boom, that way you don't lose it. And now we have one and two. I believe it is, they're both uh, 15 millimeters. 15 millimeters, we're gonna loosen both of those nuts and take this alternator off here. All right, so now we have the alternator out and we just loosen this bolt that's over here and the whole rack just comes off. I should have done that on the other side. This whole rack just comes off. You don't even have to take off the coil packs or anything. Easy, breezy. If I could just get the damn thing passed. Oh. Probably because there's a coil pack still connected. Hold on. Next thing that we got to do is there's a, a 15 millimeter bolt right here for the bracket. And then there's another one right here that I'm having a little bit of trouble getting. But uh, I'm just going to keep working at it.
I pulled the three bolts, three 10 millimeter bolts, and a couple hoses uh, to pull the throttle body off. Um, I was able to yank the back uh, hose, get the clip off, and just pull it off the power steering. Spilt a little bit, not too bad. Um, I was able to take the bracket off. I got this bolt loose. This is a 15. I'm not sure if it's enough to take off the head. We'll deal with that in a little bit. And as you can see, I have the intake and it's just about ready to come out, but I can't do it with just one hand. So I can't do it with just one hand. So I'll be back after this is done.